Hi! Here's another variable. Here's a variable loser. I want to know something, Very Blast, David, Nigatarian, whatever. I want to know what the deal is with this one thing you said in a video you made one time. It was the infamous video where you and Blue were in the, um, uh, in your living room back when she was still staying with you. And you were talking about, um, Niggerity and how she didn't want her kid to be called nigger and how, um, and the big brouhaha about, um, you wanting to have sex with her and her saying, you know, she didn't like it that you pressured her to have sex. And we're not going to touch on that, although it is part of it. <clears throat> what you said a little bit after that, she asked you, what is your fascination with nigger? And you kind of looked off into the sky. Even though you were in a room, you kind of looked off into the ceiling, but past the ceiling. You looked off into the sky, and you said something about... There's something like a universal blackness. There's this... And you were looking off like, you know... There's this blackness that just pulls you in. It's universal crunch. Or something like that. This uh, uh, dark matter. You said dark matter. And you had this really strange look on your face. <clears throat> and hey, if you know, if you were having a friggin' uh, if you were having a mental health moment, hey, you know, I'm all for friggin' uh, universal health care and uh, mental health, and so that's fine, you know. That would that's okay if you're having a friggin' moment, you know. I don't think there's anything wrong with people having moments. If people have broken arm or whatever, that's fine. But this is just before the the this was the video before she left you, and it was like still it was the most revealing thing you've ever put out about what at its core well I, I found it one of the most revealing things at its core of what you saw in the Garrity and it wasn't even black ethnicity it wasn't multiculturalism it was dark matter I could probably find the clip I know it's probably out there on maybe a secular numinist or whatever his name is now or floating around there somewhere. You know, there's a million copies of that because it's dry sand effect. But now, were you just having a mental health moment? Or was that really part of it? There's something there, isn't there? That's really it. That's kind of your godhead. Uh, I forgot what they call it in Buddhism. But uh, Brahma? Something? Or Dalai Lama? Or something like that? Your focal point? Your fixed point? You know, you're a complete atheist, but do you believe in no supernatural? Hmm. I don't know. You seem to be into a lot of those drawings. Is that Buddhism? Hmm. Makes me wonder about you. Of course everyone wonders. But are you just fixated on a freaking idea somehow? And the whole thing about wanting dark children? Because it's not even really about ethnicity. It's just about uh, 
color spectrum, a hue gradient that represents some kind of uh, Dharma thing in your mind. If I'm using the term right, I think it's Dharma. Uh, yeah. You know? What kind of variable are you on? <laughs> I'm I'm re I'm really curious. I, I I am. Why don't you tell me that? Below. Let's continue that conversation here. Let's talk about why you abandoned variable and individualism. Or what even variable meant to you. Because I've kind of hijacked that term because it's fun. But yeah, it's not just frigging fun. I kind of find a point in that. That's something I can believe in. Negarity isn't. And I don't think that just makes me a racist either. It kind of friggin' fits into friggin' the few feelings I have about anti-racism, to be honest. Uh, so, what? What is with this fixation? That's what I want to know. What's this dharma of dark matter about? Uh... Grape Kool-Aid? Anyone? 